All right, so likely in your subscription box or on your Instagram feed or wherever you watch sneaker content, you're gonna see J Balvin Jordan 3s, Futura SB Dunks, Jordan 11 Lows, the Space Jams, maybe the Latte Jordan 1s. So allow me to show you something different. Let me refresh that a little bit, show you some variety and introduce you to a shoe that will kind of bridge the gap for you. And I'll talk more in this video about what I mean by that. So allow me to introduce you to, I know this spot. And this looks familiar because it's right here. All right, so I'm doing this at the potential worst possible time. The lighting is not ideal. The sun just came up above the lighthouse behind me, which is what you see in the postcard of this box. I'm on the seacoast right now. You can hear the birds chirping. There's a lobster shack right behind me. There's people fishing behind me. I mean, what's not to love? So here's the deal. These shoes are inspired by sunrises and sunsets. So the sun rises over the lighthouse over there and it's just beautiful. But I didn't feel like getting up at 5 a.m. to do this video, so here we are at 7.30 a.m. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look with the lighthouse in the background, even though the lighting is not ideal, the sound is not ideal, but I mean, this might be where I'm actually wearing these shoes this summer. But let's head back, let me show you guys a couple things. So, allow me to better introduce you to the Sperry and Concepts collaboration on the AO3i. This is one of five shoes in the Dawn Till Dusk collection. So the inspiration there is inspired by all those colors that you see on sunrise and sunset. This is my second favorite color in the pack. Those purples are dangerous definitely getting those purples. And I just wanna to touch on this and, and jump ahead just a tad because when I tried these on, I was like, okay, are these gonna feel like a sneaker or a boat shoe? Because this is a AO boat shoe, authentic, original. Sperry is the originator of the boat shoe and traditional boat shoes can be a little bit uncomfortable. That sole is very thin. Well, this newly designed translucent rubber sole here is incredibly comfortable. I put them on and was like, I did like a little silent fist pump in the air. Like, yes, let's go. You just have to have that reliable, comfortable shoe. And most of the time we get that from sneakers, our New Balance, our Asics, our Adidas, our Air Max, that provides the comfort. But not a lot of times do you get that from a boat shoe, that just changed. Now, you might be thinking, Sperry, really? Sperry and Concepts? Guess what? They have a long history of collaborations, some that I'm gonna show you right now. Trust me when I tell you I've been doing this. You don't have many people that have this box in their collection. This is the Striper CVO. It's waterproof, it's tie-dye. This feels like a Vans Authentic, but it's more comfortable. And then, oh, and I'm not done. You probably have never seen these. This pair is over 10 years old. Not many people have the Sperry Bahama boot in their collection. I highly doubt that they make these anymore. I'm pretty sure that Concepts brought these out of the archive for this collaboration, but they have a zipper on the side of them. How crazy is that? So Concepts and Sperry, they have history. There's a bunch of other collaborations that I don't have that I think are cool. Oh, and by the way, the Harry suede, the material that is on this pair, top notch super high quality. You've got a Concepts and Sperry tag on the tongue. Obviously you saw that Concepts branding at the bottom. This right here is what you're walking on. It is so soft and plush. More dual branding on the footbed there. So what I meant by bridging the gap was this summer you're gonna see some specific footwear that's on trend. You've seen Clark's Wallabies. Those are very on trend. Boat shoes definitely are gonna be trendy this summer. Loafers, I'm sure you've seen, are being worn in a more casual way. So if you're like me and you wear a lot of New Balance, you wear a lot of Air Max, you wear a lot of Jordans, and you've been looking for something that's gonna bridge the gap between those shoes that you're familiar with and the stuff that's on trend, 
This could do it because it wears as a sneaker, but it looks like the other shoes that I mentioned. Oh, and real quick, sizing. They do fit a little bit big, which I prefer, but if you typically wear this style shoe without socks, maybe you should consider going a half size down, but they're, they're roomy. I like them in a size 12. That's what I've been buying most of my shoes in. They fit me great. I've got a little bit of extra room. No complaints. Do me a favor, if you found this refreshing yourself, if you liked seeing something different in your feed, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. This pair is probably available by the time you see it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Peace.